Good day, folks. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to do long exposure photography with your DJ Osmo Action and an ND1000 filter. Long exposure photography allows you to get shots like this where water looks like it's flowing, and it's actually fairly easy to do. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So in front of me here, I've got my Osmo Action, and I've got the Freewell Gear ND1000 filter for the Osmo Action. Now, Freewell Gear sells these ND filters for a lot of different products. They have them for the Mavic 2, the Mavic Pro, Mavic Air. They sell them for GoPros. Now, if you're an avid drone flyer, chances are you already own some ND filters. And typically, drone filters range from ND4 to ND32, possibly ND64. ND filters for drones allow you to follow the 180 degree rule to get that cinematic motion blur footage. Now, an ND1000 thousand like this is a little bit different it doesn't really work so well for video but what it does allow you to do is take nice long exposure photos to get those really interesting creative shots in this video I'm going to show you a few samples and then we're going to go into the settings and I'll show you how to set it up now installation of the ND filter is quite straightforward it just screws on just like any ND filter that you do own just like that and it's ready to use let's take a look at our first example here this is Hogs Falls it's up in the Georgian Bay area I was there a couple days ago and a beautiful little waterfall and a perfect example for doing long exposure photography. Now in this first example here, I had the stock lens on the Osmo Action and I had everything set to auto. And as you can see, it has a very fast shutter speed because it freezes the action. You can see a lot of detail in the water still, in the rapids. It's a nice photo, but not quite the look we're going for when we want long exposure photography. Now in this next photo here, you can see it has that nice flowing look that we are trying to achieve. For this photo, I had the ND1000 filter on by Freewell Gear and I set my shutter speed to 30 seconds. Now if I had tried to take that photo for 30 seconds without the ND filter on there, it would just be white and blown out and you wouldn't see anything. And that's where the ND1000 filter from Freewell Gear comes in. It basically blocks the amount of light that can enter the sensor. That way you can have it set for a longer exposure and not be blown out. So let's take a look at some of the settings here and how to set your exposure for long exposure photography. First of all, we're gonna swipe over from the right hand side and you can see there it's set to auto. What we're gonna to wanna to do here is set it to manual. Manual. Ideally, you want to leave your ISO at 100. The lower your ISO, the less noise there's going to be in the image. Uh, but what we do want to change is the shutter speed. Basically, that's how long the shutter stays open, and that also dictates how much light can enter the sensor. So if we click on it, you can see we've got all different settings here. So if I scroll down all the way to one second, you can see there right away it's way blown out. And again, that's where we would put the ND filter on. You can see there to kind of block some of the light. So for the photo of the waterfall, I had it set to 30 seconds. So that means when I press the shutter button, it's going to continuously take a photo for 30 seconds. Now, something that's very important to keep in mind when it comes to setting the shutter speed, there's no specific number I can give you on what to use with your ND1000. It all depends on the lighting conditions. For example, that shot of the waterfall, I was kind of in a forest. There was a thick tree canopy above me. The wasn't a lot of light getting in so that allowed me to do a 30 second exposure. Now if that waterfall had been in direct sunlight, say it was in a bright open area, I may have only been able to set my shutter speed to a one or two second exposure. So it all depends on the environment you're in. As you can see here the Osmo Action allows you to set your shutter speed at 120 seconds. That's the maximum you can do. So it will do almost a two minute long exposure. And actually when I got to that location that was what I first had it set to. And as you can see by the photograph here it was way overexposed. So then I dropped it down to 40 seconds and here it's not too bad but I found it was still a little bit overexposed so I then dropped it down to 30 seconds and I found that to be the nice sweet spot. But like I said if this waterfall was out in the open I might have had to adjust that down to 5 seconds, 2 seconds or even 1 second. So it is kind of trial and error you just got to take a shot and see what it looks like and then adjust it accordingly. Now here's another example the other day I was at a beach and I was going to try and get some long exposure photos of the waves kind of crashing in which kind of smooths them out and makes them look a little misty. Now it was an extremely bright day so I was only able to use a one second exposure. If I went to a two second exposure, it was still way too bright. So one second was the maximum I could do that day. Now if it had been late in the evening and the sun was kind of starting to set, I could have probably done a longer exposure. I could have probably gone 10 seconds, possibly even 20 seconds. So if you look at this photo here, this is just shot with the stock lens. And again, it has a fast shutter speed because I was in auto and it kind of freezes the action. You can see a lot of the water detail. So now in this photo, you can see I've put on the ND1000 filter by Freewell Gear. I've set the shutter speed to one second to do a one second long exposure. And as you can see, 
see now we get a little bit of that kind of misty look in the waves it kind of smooths everything out and looks really interesting so as you can see you can do a lot of really creative things with these uh, ND1000 filters one last thing before we go here you can actually use these ND1000 filters for creating time lapses as well it kind of gives you that same effect that kind of misty look it can kind of smooth out your time lapse make the water a little bit more flowing here's an example here I just shot this one quick with the ND1000 and I believe I had it at a one second exposure as well Again, if it had been later in the evening, we could have set the exposure a little bit longer and got even a nicer effect. So yeah, folks, that is my video on how to do long exposure photography with your Osmo Action. I definitely think this is a valuable tool to keep in your camera bag. I'll also include links for other products that Freewell Gear makes the ND1000 for. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.